Hey, this is Eric with CartoonLearning.com. I decided to make a tutorial for you to show you how to make a character from start to finish. Um, so we'll go through everything, and in this first part, we're going to do the face. I'm going to try to give you multiple ways of doing things, and then you can kind of find your own groove, see what you like best. But um, I'll also tell you what works best for me. So we're going to start with the face, and this first way that we do it uh, is the way that I used to do it with eyelids on the outside of the face and you'll see what I mean in a minute but uh, of course when you open up your program you start with a vector layer already in there let's go ahead and click this red plus sign to duplicate it and let's make uh, four layers total on this bottom one we'll double click it and then we'll rename this how about face uh, the next one we'll rename eyelids Nope, oops. I, how about I white? The next one we'll call uh, pupils. And the next one we'll call eyelids. I'll go over here and create a switch layer. And we're going to call this eyelids. And we're going to move our eyelids into the switch layer just by clicking on it and then dragging it up in there. Okay, now we're going to duplicate our eyelids layer, so just duplicate that. And if you duplicate it when it's within a folder, it will duplicate also within the folder. So double click this and rename this Open. All right, now there are many different ways to create a face. Uh, you could use your freehand tool, you can use your add points tool, you can use um, your draw shape tool. Uh, I'm just gonna show you probably one of those ways of doing it, but click on your face level and go ahead, and because we're gonna just discard this first one anyway, use your draw shape tool. Now I've got auto fill off. If we turn it on and we'll come over here and select uh, basic colors and we'll select a skin color. If we turn it on and we make that head um, it's going to come out skin shape or skin colored. Um, I'll just remove that. Let's for this tutorial turn off the auto fill. Now remember if you just click and drag you're going to get whatever shape uh, you end up making it. So you can get more oblong or uh, taller but um, I'll remove that. Here's something else to know is if you use your shift when you create your circle, it will maintain a circle shape if you hold down shift. So go ahead and do that and create a circle. All right, now for those of you who have the debut version of Anime Studios, you're going to fill this in by clicking on your paint bucket tool and then come over here, uh, have your skin color selected, and then just click in the circle. Um, I'm going to undo that with Control Z. For those of you who have a pro version, I'll show you something a lot handier. Um, instead of using your paint bucket, what we'll do is we'll come over here, open up the advanced box, go to Styles, New, and we're going to call this Skin. And when you get uh, more advanced characters and you have 30 different hand layers, if you wanted to use the same basic outline of a character, but have somebody uh, of a different color, different ethnic race or whatever, um, this comes in really handy. So here's, we've created skin. Uh, we're gonna keep these three boxes checked so that we keep our width, our stroke, and our actual fill color the same. Then go ahead and select none. Then come down here to style one and select skin and now we're going to use our create shape to select our circle and then hit the space bar to actually create your shape. And now we have a uh, skin colored thing, head. But if you ever want to change it, then you can come up here to styles, select skin, and then you can click on whatever color you want and you have a different colored character. But the nice thing is we can do this to every single layer that is skin colored. 
so all of your hand switch layers and stuff and then change it and you can have a different colored character so it's very nice all right we'll go back to uh, none and then for skin we'll go back to none but that's the advantage of the styles it's very helpful all right now that you have your face made let's go up here to uh, eye whites select that layer then come up here uh, we'll go ahead and use the auto fill this time and select white as our fill color so go over here use your shift and create a, a circle and because we want our two eyes the same unless you're going to create like Ferb from Phineas and Ferb or something um, what you want to do is select these points and then just come up to um, edit, copy, edit, paste, and of course there's shortcuts for this. Once you paste, you automatically end up on your translate points tool. So then you can grab your second circle and move it over. And now you have um, two whites of your eyes that are the same size. Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing with the pupils. So select the pupil layer, uh, come up here to create shape, uh, and this time we'll change the fill color to black. And do shift, make the first pupil, um, as long as our points are selected. You can also do control C, control V, and it's a nice shortcut that will copy and paste. So now we have two of those.